sound effects work. Owl all the time. You guys ever remember, uh, Jay was saying earlier, Steve, that he didn't remember the uh, cartoon and toy line, uh, Mask. You remember Mask? Mask? Yeah, it was the mid-80s. Jim Carrey Mask? No, sir. The mid-80s. The, um, what was that kid, what was that actor, the red-headed guy? Rocky Dennis. No. He was in. Music's, still, music's gotta come he down. Big, hey, for you people that are watching Eric, live right now. Eric. Eric, yeah, he was in, uh, he was in, uh, Some of this sh- Eric Stoltz. Eric Stoltz, he was in Pulp Fiction. Mask. Some of the shit I'm doing right now, hey, look, listen to me, everybody. <clears throat> We're talking right now, <clears throat> we got some of the DJ Sean shit in the background, the white shadow. Um, is this, is, is the mix too loud? Is the music, is the music we too wanna, loud? We want to hear the music. We want to hear the music, but, you know, 
people that know understand the, the difference. We feel it's been too low. So many YouTube videos you hear like the music's like da 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 and the person's pointing. This know? is how you fix your chainsaw. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So anyway, anybody that's watching, hit us up on the chat real quick. I'm trying to get this shit ready. Hit us up on chat. We're trying to we've moved to some new software. <clears throat> Very Are the soft. mics on, Jerry? Very software. Yes. But, but, but. I, I see the level of the music, but I'm not seeing really the mics. Bring the, bring the volume way down all of a sudden. Hmm. But, hmm. but. Yeah, there we are. But, 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 but. Yep. Confused. Sound good, yo. Somebody said. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Hey, that's what we're talking about. Okay, let's go back behind the curtain and start over. We're, we, we're going to have, uh, <coughs> we're gonna have uh, Ed Grimley bring us out. Um, Wilford Grimley. Um, so, uh, I was thinking earlier today, Jay. We were talking about earlier before. Jay didn't remember the toy line or animated series of Mask. The Eric, St the Eric Stoltz film. Ma, 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 Mask. No, not the, uh, the big Cher elephantitis. Too, too much skin on his face. And not that, not Jim Carrey. But does anybody remember Mask? The game? No, it's, uh, it was a... A series. A, se a cartoon series. Ma, 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 Mask. And, uh, was it on TBS? Like no, Planet? WGN, I think. Well, it was and, a Superstation. One of the Superstations. And uh, it had uh, toys. Toys? I had a lot of their toys. So it was a cartoon designed to sell toys, is what it was. Yeah, just like all those other ones. Go Bots. You got a frog in your throat? You got a frog in your throat? Hey? 50 year old man. Hey? Got a frog in your throat, boy, mate? Hey? 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 What is it, a pillow watcher? Hey? You got a pillow watcher? Everybody have a relative that's a pillow watcher? Hey? Hey? Ha ha. Hey? 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 Thanks for, um, you have a lot of choices for programs now. Welcome to June. June. June bug. You know, you got a lot of choices for programs. A lot of choices. You can go anywhere now. You ever heard of, um, what is it, NetTube? You got a NetTube? Got a NetTube, you can just do, do anything. I got a nine-digit number that you can go to NetTube and put it in. Yeah. They'll send you 50 cents. Okay. And on a card, it's a 50 cent on a card, and underneath it says in calligraphy, which is not... You know, that's not an easy thing to do. I learned how to do. And you can it. you can cast part of that to your TV. It says thanks, thank you for being a friend. Okay. On the uh, fifty cent piece on the card that they send you. All right. Yeah, I had a, a, long, a days off, and then I went back to work for a couple of days. And today, you know, I, I got yeah, Craig, you had a kind of exciting day. Yeah, I did. How do you pop your throat? You remember that? <laughs> Um, ended up, uh, there were some bears on the loose. Yes. Yeah, up where we live, there were some bears. And, uh, loose bears. In the city, in Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, Winston Salem, North Carolina. Loose bears and, in uh, the city. surrounding areas, and so we, you know, working on a story for that day it was bear, but bear you sightings. You happened to really kind of fall into the bear. Yeah, wildlife guy was like, yeah, it's over there. And I'm like, and then we're like, there's all these trees. I'm like, what are you talking about? So, this is what I thought was exciting, though. You guys were on, you were doing a live shot at like the five o'clock hour. Five o'clock, yeah. And you had gotten word from the wildlife guy, like, hey, the bear is around here. He's right down there. So, live on the air, the reporter says, we're going to get you the bear footage. We got footage we of got the bear. Footage we're going to show it to you at six o'clock. That's like saying, we're going to open That is, that is a good tease. It is. 
That's a good tease. Uh, so we, he my said hat, that. My hat goes off. Yeah. So I don't have that. a hat on, but my hat that would be here yeah. goes off. No hat. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm not wearing a hat either. Nobody so, is wearing a hat. Well, no. Jay's got a ball cap on. He's wearing a hat. I wanted to show off how incredibly almost long my hair is. Yeah, I don't do that no more. Um, that's why I think I'm growing my hair out one more time. Summer in the south. I think yeah. I think I'm getting a bald bald gentleman up in this area. You pay a price. Yeah, you are getting a little thin up. Yeah. So I figured I'm gonna grow my hair out one more time. And then shave it. Before it's like, hey, all right, you can't have that with that, you know. Right. So uh, I figured that one more time I can have long hair, so I'm gonna try to do it up. You, you, know? do, you can do the wrap around like like Trump. I can almost get a uh, ponytail right now. Yeah, I'm close. And so uh, a pinot tail. Pinot Grigio. Ah, <laughs> uh, Suspiria. It probably ended. All about it. Jay Pickett's a VHS. It's a short movie. Over in the Atari alcove. We've not mentioned the Atari alcove recently. Anyway. Bananas has Suspiria on VHS. Yeah, but the, the, the story, we'll get to that later. I got something to say about okay. it. Okay. Sorry. That's why I played it. Uh, Long story short, we went, <laughs> I went down there and then we were all looking for this bear. And I said, oh, wait, there it is. And it was a bear up in a tree. So it was, I spent, it was right there. I spent a couple of hours <laughs> from me to you, like from here to the camera and just a little beyond, between me and a bear. And I don't mean no cub or no shit like that. I'm talking like a five and a half, six foot, like legit bear that was maybe scared or hurt or something and went up in this tree and was kind of hanging out, wrapped around it. It was like, and every now and then he'd go, stick his tongue out. But he, he wasn't, I, I, I've been, I was texting Steve the whole time. And the bear was not happy that you guys were there. No, he wasn't messing around. He, but he wasn't happy about it. Oh no, he wasn't, he didn't care. Oh. Steve made it sound like he was no, not, not too not happy. But people were leaving us. There were live streams going on, speaking of live streams. Uh, and people were saying, I hope the bear kills you guys. Other things said, uh, I hope that storm that's brewing kills both of you guys. Nice. Nice. Death threats. Like, you guys shouldn't be messing with that bear. And we're like, no, we just found a bear. That's what happens when you work in news. We're going to talk about it. But everybody people was like, on you. hope you die. Hey, Thanks, Trump. I'm like, I don't, I don't think the... the what the key uh, uh, yeah. mentioned from the reporter was like, I don't think the bear thinks there. that. No. So if the bear doesn't think that, why would you think that? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, but it was crazy. Me to you from a bear. I mean, a legit bear. I don't, uh, that's never happened. A black bear. I'm a countryman. I've been from the I mean, you might see one at the zoo or no, behind I, a I've wild. never been around in the presence of a bear. Oh, you haven't? In the wild. In the wild, no. Ever. I mean, I'm country. Well, in, in the wild, you were in the city, but it was in the wild because it was a wild bear. I mean, I'm a country, I'm a country mugger now. Don't get me wrong. I checked this out today. I also it's did this, um. Big scratch. I did this, uh, where'd I do that? Where'd I do all this at? the cam or the chat check it out look over here yeah yeah people were asking about that weren't they yeah except so, so now i'm all kind of <clears throat> don't want to kind of cheat it over I, I you know i can change it it just gives you a little instagram square yeah i'm not i'm not afraid to just maneuver things live on the air look at there that way you can still see both of us isn't that cool look at that and we got the um we got the little chat thing going on over here that you guys can see so you you don't have to take your eyes off of us because you know you uh you, all of you want to lay it on our shoulders, and I don't blame you. You can work for Pinterest. What? What? Anyway, Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Big up to uh, Aaron who's joining us. Oh, oh yeah? And Aaron, uh, he was at the uh, restaurant. Sorry to hear about Aaron's problems with his cable. Cable? Yeah. He's... Oh, yeah. Spectrum sucks, bro. <laughs> it's, it's Time Warner. All, what, all, we're it's streaming Time Warner. On, yeah, we're streaming on Spectrum right now, but... It's always a crapshoot for me, man. But speaking of Aaron, he was at SmackDown Live on Tuesday night, and me and Jay and the girlfriend also went down to SmackDown Live. Oh, you did? And I uh, took in a wrestling contest. How was live it? on the? They they did their version of live, and I don't know. Who'd you see? Uh, we saw uh, what's his name? Uh, Bill Musselman. Is that his name, Jay? There was Bill Musselman and there was uh, Bill Musselman, Wrangle Joe, <laughs> and uh, you're making that up. No, you, uh, you guys know about leg work. 
Now, I'm more of a leg extension guy. I think leg curls puts a little bit too much tension on your knee area. But leg extensions, I'll haul some motherfuckers all day long. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to swear as much. Okay, yeah, I get I get charged for that. Yeah, I get I, I'm not uh, I'm not a swearer, but uh, I swear know, I swear I'm not. I go church if Sunday now. Over, look how look how compartmentalized we are here. Look at all this stuff going on here. Does this look like a does this look like a stream? Are we doing stream? I should talk. Stuff? I should lean more like this. Like a twenty five year old Fortnite player. I feel, I feel like that's what we're doing right now. Uh, Paul Smackage was there too. <laughs> Aaron, you got to meet Jay. I think Aaron and Jay would be good friends. Yeah, I've never met. Oh yeah. You guys should set up a little bro date. I'm telling you. We can meet on the interstate somewhere. A like, wrestling bro date. Maybe that I'm, that uh, replacements place on the on the interstate. It's about halfway. Bam, bam. <laughs> All right, we're starting. Up. Where's that start? Where's the start over it's button? It's China. Yep. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, where's the start over button? Yeah. Uh, let's see. If you hit uh, hold down alt and then any key. I don't have an any key. N E or N E key. Do you guys have an any key? Northeastern key. Any key. Uh, uh, any key. Where's the any key? All right. Uh, say, so, say, so, what the hell was I saying? I don't know. Oh my god. I saw a bear about it. Did you guys see the bear? Nope. Just me. All right. <laughs> Always some of this I didn't. Um, Uh, oh, Joe's slipping on it. Let's uh, let's talk about some stuff that I kind of picked up on this week. You know, guys, you guys know. Um, here's a word we can't really say on the program. Uh, anal c word. Oh, anal c. I heard yeah. about the anal cub. Yeah, anal c word. Uh, legendary grindcore uh, act. So um, I hear someone died the most rock and roll way. Yeah, dude. Um, and I'll be honest with you. Metal theologian could chime in on this. I think the the reason these guys are uh, as famous as they are is their name solely. Just the name of the band. I'm not shitting on them, but um, but they were just crude. On Only Samantha B is allowed to say this word. This is true. But dude, he's 45. Okay, let's let's keep this in mind now. He's 45 years old. He's yeah. a little older than me. And I'm not saying there's dis dissimilarities here, but dude, um, dude was screwing around on, on, on an elevator. Oh, I didn't mean to go back there. Mm -hmm. Dude was uh, screwing around on an escalator and fell off, hit his head, and died. Straight up died. That's, that's such that's such stupidity for 45. Yeah. I mean. Don't get me wrong. I applaud it. At 45, you're still like, bro. I love a good I'm riding right. backwards like a horse that says, stupid. <laughs> hey, look, I'm riding a stupid horse. And he yeah! Out, I, mean, I, brought, I brought a stupid horse. Yeah, that's the better question, Jay. I'll applaud that. Jay said, you know what? It, who the hell is hanging out at a mall with an escalator nowadays? Apparently, uh, anal cut. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I'm a little bit country. I'm a little bit anal. <laughs> what else is going on? I bought these shorty bottles and I show up. Always reminds me of cameraman. You guys remember cameraman back in the days? You'd always rock these little shorty natural light bottles. Ain't that some shit? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I'm not impressed by it. Let's see what else. Ain't I'm, I'm going to go to my next image. I don't ain't remember that what it some is. shit. I don't remember what it is. <clears throat> I'll check this out. You know what symbol that is? Uh, W. That's Wisconsin. What you know that? what this is, Jay? This symbol? The Westinghouse. No, okay. That's the employee code to get the door. This is, uh, that's the Weezer symbol. Yeah, oh, good, good job. Weezer. Good job. Now, let me tell you that something. what that is? Um, this is apparently this is, a this is like meme action gone berserkers here. There was a Twitter account set up. 
um, specifically for the fact to try to get Weezer to cover Toto's Africa. Okay. And they're like, oh, you guys should totally do that. And it became like a, you know, they uh, kept just beating them every day. Like, yeah. And the whole account set up for this for some reason. And apparently they <laughs> finally they do did it. it. They I did. Uh, what's the other uh, uh, Whoop Toto oh, song? Uh, Hold the Line? No. That's the one I sang. It's a woman's name. Oh, Roseanne. Roseanne. Rosanna. Rosanna. It's Rosanna. Uh, Kat, Rosanna. Rosanna Dana. Rosanna. <laughs> no, it's that, uh, that, that actress. Rosanna Dana. No. Arquette. No, it's not Rosanna Barr. It's Rosanna <laughs> Arquette. Arquette. Thank you. Uh, but the, apparently they did that first. Like, hey, everybody's been wanting this Toto song, and everybody went crazy. And then they would get that song, and people were like, come on. So they finally did it. And I don't, I couldn't really get from the article whether or not it was uh, a recorded thing, or if they played it live somewhere. But I guess they finally did it, and everybody was kind of barking. People were barking quite a bit about just getting them to play the song, and they finally did. So, hey, kudos! I don't throw out kudos uh, haphazardly, Steve. No, I, you I'm don't. Little, no, I'm you little, don't. I'm a little conservative with uh, kakudos. Isn't that that new thing at Taco Bell? It's a taco wrapped with their uh, their mop from the bathroom. You're right. Kakudos. Kakudos. It's a taco with a mop around with it. With a queso mm. dripping. Oh. Mop and queso drippings. That reminds me, I need to call my aunt. She's in uh, prison. Cheese in prison? Cheese in prison. <laughs> Cheese in prison. <laughs> Can you hear that new song by Eric Clapton called Cheese in Prison? Nobody heard it. Nobody heard it. It's called Cheese in Prison. Sounds like tears. But a little less edgier. Would you have if I had cheese in prison? Okay, well, what else is going on? Uh, oh, shit, I meant to do Oh, man. Music. I'm glad the weekend's here. Yeah, me too. How bro. about you? Oh, um, I had most of the week off, and somehow I'm still tired and uh, effing H, yeah, bro. That, that'll work you up, man. I'll work you up real quick. Yeah, vacation's more work than now. I'm just wore out. Hey, Steve. Yes, sir. Don't you know something about the uh, Goblin? We like Goblin. We love Goblin. Yeah. Um, and you brought some Goblin records over. Well, I have the... Um, Valdoto Vito, whatever that, that one. Drogo, the one about... It's like a movie, a film soundtrack. From Suspiria? No, it's not Suspiria. I don't have Suspiria. I wish I did. Um, it's something else. But look, this new thing's coming out. Italian, I'll tell, I'll iconic tell Italian director I'll Dario Argento. Argento. First collaborated with composer Claudio Simonetti's prog rock band Goblin on Argento's 1975 film Profondo Rosso. Is that the same one? Profondo Rosso. No. Goblin's soundtrack was a hit, and the band went on to work with Argento again on a subsequent film, Suspiria. The one I have is La Via del de Droga. Okay. But they went on to work, they did the Suspiria. To pay homage to Argento and Simonetti's fruitful union, fruitful. Aries creative director Sofia Prantera has teamed up with the Vinyl Factory and Slam Jam for this limited edition 12 inch. Super Dario. So check this out. That's cool. Isn't it cool? Is that a video game? Uh, yeah. Looks like Mario. Right. Dario, I get super, it. Super Dario. Ah, I get or it. Dario. Would it be Super Dario? I'm, I'm a little slow. Features Aries' unique artwork inspired by <laughs> the video game, obviously. The a sod and theme tune, uh, tune from Profundo Rosso is on the reverse. Goblin Suspiria title track, I'm sorry, mm. is the a side, mm -hmm. And then the, uh, the other track is the b side. So this is a 12 inch with one song on each side. Nice. Uh, that's styled like this. And I thought you'd be interested in this. I think that's kind of why I pulled it from my news. I am, I, mean, I am interested. Look at that. This is beautiful. That's cool. I don't know whether if you would get anything like this, you'd probably have to order online. I'm Do you know what it sounds like? What? No, 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 <laughs> no. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Um, 
Let's talk about what we played. I may have had some other stuff to talk about, but I don't care. We're going to what we played. I will say, um, I meant to play some Soft Machine because on this date in like 73 or 74, I think, uh, Robert, I think it's Robert Wyatt's the guy's name. Yeah. He was like one of the leaders of the band. He fell. Speaking of like guys on escalators and whatever, he fell le leaving a building. He was crawling down the drain pipe. He fell three stories and he was permanently uh, handicapped for the rest of his life in a or, wheelchair. Was one of those stories about how he broke his legs? Maybe. I was going to play a little soft machine. For yeah, you. I got some soft machine. I know you do. I was just competing. We about haven't it. played soft machine in a long time. I've played some pseudo recently. Yeah. Pseudo recently. Okay. I don't know that they're over there, but I got some records I got to shelf back up. You guys, how often do you like make a uh, stack of shit and you're like, oh, I got to put that back on the shelf? Or do you guys play the record, sack it up, and put it back? It's a little tougher for us sack here on the program. It, you say sack it up? Because we're all getting all stupid over here and like, you know, a record comes off, we're kind of in motion, we're doing things quick. We're doing the show here and I'm showing records, Jay's showing records. And then we stick them down in a pile because you know I can't go over, can't ask Jay to go over and file everything as he brings it all. Hey, when I get home, I get when I get home, I file my stuff. Do you really? I have to immediately. So yeah. you get home. Wow, that's, yeah, like, that's no, late. No, maybe the bro. next day. Okay, <laughs> a little more realistic. <laughs> While I'm watching Reds baseball, I got plenty. Baseball. I got plenty of time. This weekend, baseball. There's not. There's nothing much to watch. So. Um. I sometimes, uh... You're pulling up the cellar, by the way. What's your favorite time of day to use a restaurant? Mm, my favorite time of the day... That morning... Yeah. Expedition is usually my a good one, you know. I like a black cup of coffee and then like a... Here we go. Let's take... Go, 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 go. I mean, if I can get a bowl of cereal... If I can get a bowl of cereal in me, I got a good one coming about 10 o'clock. Black coffee... Fairly strong, but not stomach. Well, it's about strong. your stools. And I just, my, my body's like, yeah, I was gonna take care of this. Send it, send it in on a self-addressed stamped envelope um, to Pueblo, Colorado. Eight one zero nine. Hey Jay, would you hand me a, a natural light? You should get one for yourself. I feel bad that you're not drinking beer. It's like going to see your favorite band and drinking fucking bottled water on the stage. I want you to be as stupid as I am. I want you to be as stupid as I am, Jay. Hell yeah, man. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. So, came in kind of late because of, you know, the bear and all that jazz. So, I uh, wanted to really, uh, I, I don't know, I just, I was throwing shit on kind of fast early on just because I wanted to make some good music. Um, accessible and quick and get it on and da da da. And it's funny, I was having a conversation with a uh, another reporter, another male reporter. Okay. This morning I was listening to a little weather report. Weather report in a little while. Mm -hmm. Ain't a damn thing wrong with that. I played uh, Mr. Gone, which is a little three dollar one of our digging spot parties. Mm -hmm. uh, you know anything about Mr. Gone? I don't remember the year. Uh, it's a good album. It's got um, solid, funky man. This was this is a little more on that fusion. This funky is co-produced by Jakob Pistorius. So it's it's a great record. Um, you play bass on it. You know, I don't know that he does, but he must. He must. He ain't gonna let nobody else play bass. Are you kidding On me? an album he co-produces? Yeah, that'd be crazy. Yeah, why don't you play bass and I'll sit here and insult you the whole time. Probably. Wayne Shorter. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Yako plays bass on this. Okay. The whole time. Yeah, 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 Got some drumming going on. How about that? Take this record off the record. I bet you didn't know that. I didn't know that. Back on the record player I don't know much about that record. I, I know I like it. I cer yeah, it's really great. I certainly know more about some of the other weather reports. I love this uh, releases than that. Chrysler building coming out of this guy standing there with his uh, trench coat on. Yeah, the art's cool and the um, the music. That's even the back cooler. of the album. Show them the front. Mr. Yeah. Gone. A little later album, but it's it's That's still, what I thought. Well, Yaka was still there, and like I said, he co-produced. So felt it very fusiony, very proggy. Oh yeah. Less on the funk tip, but no. Nope. But uh, the the fusion. More, more on your ups up yeah. smell. Uh, pulled out this. I don't know why. I've been thinking about this a little bit. Uh, little Leonard Skinner's man. I, oh yeah. Um, this is that what that live album. 
Two one more the from the road. I was gonna say two from the road. One more from the road. Yeah. It's just um, a live album. Yeah. It's good. And we played uh, the side that's got "Give Me Three Steps" on it. Band eight. Uh, which I told Jay, the first line of that song may be the low point in rock and roll lyrical history. Yeah, it's stupid. I was cutting the rug at a place called the Wicked. And it's like, girl named Linda Lou. I was taking a hat from a guy called Cat. He tells a good story. In walked a man with a gun in his hand. It's after that. You know who. It's that first line. Hey there, fella with the hair colored yellow. What you trying to do? The, all, all the rest my of that. woman there, and I'm a man who cares, and it might be all for you. All the rest of that, I'm totally cool with. Cool. That first line, and those chromatic wind downs. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> Music, musically, that's the most. Nope. Oh come on now. I don't like that. Let it, uh, let it, let it breathe. But I love Skinner, and I like that. I even uh, like that I song. Skinner. Uh, and this is man. You know, we every now and then we bring this up on the program. This goes back uh, when my record collection. I, Can you just go to a one shot while I'm like entering some stuff on my. I go to a something. A go to one a sing, shot. Go to a single. You. No, I can't do that. Oh, sorry. No, I can't do that. Okay. I can go to the chat. It'll be, it'll make you less obvious from that. Sort of. Music is tad loud. Bring it down a little bit, Jay. Ride it, baby. It's okay. It, it's a work. It's a it's a it's a work in progress. Aaron says, uh, "Did you see where As I Lay Dying teased new music today?" After Tim oh, Wayne, somebody had a new album. Oh, somebody had a new album come cool. out today. A lot of people like to do things on June first. Ghost. That was my other. Ghost. That was right. my other thing. Me too, man. I was going to mention that to you. Ghost. Look, of course he did. I, I was actually going to ask this. Let me find this picture. I, I've got this already loaded. There it is. See. That's the new album. What's your opinion of Ghost? What do you think about it? I like Ghost. You like him? I like him. Jay said he saw him live. Saw him live? With, open for Maiden? When? Last what, summer? What was your opinion? What do you think? Yeah. Do you like him better than Iron Maiden? No. You were there to see Iron Maiden. Yeah, I just, no, I just heard the parking lot. In full makeup or with masks or whatever? Yeah, he, the uh, clergy. Uh, he the had clergy. the thing, the, the clo- uh, clergy thing. Yeah. Now. Cloak and yeah, yeah, yeah. Now here's my I think thing. If you're a Sabbath I think fan, if you like. I think he switched halfway through. The, like, kind of vaudevillian. Vaudevillian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a little Ring of Honor reference, thank you, Jay. Um, my my gripe I've heard is, Ghost is a band that comes off as very, very satanic. Oh, come on. No, no, no. That's not the gripe. Very satanic, very dark, very, like, gruesome and heavy and da-da-da. If you put the record on, it's kind of like you a listen, 70s like, is, classic rock What is this? Record. This is not what they... Which, in my opinion, it's still good music. Well, but I think they about do this. come off heavier than well, they think about are. this. Growing up, people would say Black Sabbath was a satanic... Look at la, 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 la. Kiss. Kiss was this la, 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 la. And you listen to it, you're like... Kiss is nothing like it. it's all about baby, 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 and Black Sabbath is about political and war and whatever. It's blues. But I also did mention there's a period in Sabbath with all those major yes. chord changes. Ba, 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 ba. That's what made me think about Never Mass. Say Die. It, that, they're not dark at no. times. The music is actually quite bright and happy, except for the cover, and you're like, what the fuck, man? You know? Or if you know that it's it's Sabbath, right? But if you didn't know that it was Sabbath, you'd be like, "This is good," but it's kind of a proggy, like oh yeah, bright, happy record. I guess the lyrics. I don't listen to lyrics as much. Anyway, back to what we played. Um, I, I'm talking about you know, there's times when I, when I play records that are. Um, oh, Aaron said Ghost just played uh, in Asheville this week. Mm-hmm. But um, well, my record collection. I got back into record collecting in the 2010, 2011, maybe mm-hmm. somewhere in there. And you know, I had a collection like that. I got two turntables and a mixer, a microphone, and uh, a stack of records about like this. And then I started going up to Earshot every couple of Fridays or so. <laughs> and my collection was probably like that. And I, I've loved jazz forever, and I just 
uh, I was very nostalgic about having like a jazz record collection. I thought that was pretty cool. And this is one of the first like jazz records I picked up. Jazz. Uh, I like the way you say jazz. Yeah. Jazz. 98.5. At the Vibes, Lionel Hampton. I uh, paid five dollars at Earshot. This is like I said, 2010 probably. Look at this uh, technical. It's got this whole section on technical data on the back of this record. This particular record was recorded on an Ampex model 300 tape machine using Telefunken Newman EV667 microphones. The masters were cut on a fully automatic Scully lathe with Miller. That's my name, bro. Cutter heads driven by. Uh, Specially designed 200 watt Macintosh amplifiers. Macintosh. The total frequency range of 15 CPS to 25,000 CPS is on this record. However, it is not within the range of the human ear and is included in the master because of fit. This is a whole like paragraph on this record. Uh, so cool. And look at those. You got to show that off in those frequency numbers at the bottom, Jay. But that that cover. If you ever see that Lionel Hampton record like that. Do not sleep on it. That is like some weird. Don't sleep on it. Show, no, hold up, hold up that technical. Now look on the back and get down there to the bottom. I'll, I'll guide you. Freeze. Kind of jiggle it so it focuses. Jiggle it just a little bit. Here we go. Freeze it. Look at that right there. What kind of record nowadays do you see that kind of shit on? Low frequency units and high frequency units. That's they don't care, though. man. They don't care. <laughs> that record may or may not have ran out while we're uh, playing yeah. in, in the middle of it. Oh, and yeah. uh, I said, Jay, grab a record. And Jay retched up on my literally. stack, literally, just kind of blind stabbed. And put, that's, what is I that? Put that? I put that in there backwards. I have seen that one. No, you have. It's the first Bortz <laughs> record. It's funny. We don't remember things. Look at the spine. What's the name of that? Jay? No, there, there it is, Jay. It's on the front of that. Absolute Barf. Oh. Absolute Barf. Boris, Absolute Ghost, their first record Absolute in the... Ghost? Go. Go. They're Japanese. Um, They're Japanese? Yeah. With the chicken guitar player, Wada. Oh, my God. She is badass. I watched Summer Rental last week. Man. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm much more no. nostalgic. <laughs> no, it's I great. That's great. Uh, well, I did love Rip Torn. I love Rip Torn. And everything he's been in. And he, he was very ripped torn in this movie. Yeah. Arr. Yeah, what the hell you doing? Arr, arr, arr. Yeah, very ripped torn. Come on. It was it was really dumb. Well, that's, you know, all 80s movies, if you break them down now, are dumb. Unless you're watching the the Pel Pelican Keeper. The Piano. Wait, that was like the 2000s. But yeah, anyway. Um... What the shit was that we were talking about? I don't know. Oh, a Boris record. First Boris record. And Jay just blind stabbed it. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. Okay. If you just randomly chose a side, we're probably getting ready for some noise. And then I thought, I was like, no, no, no. The record sounds good. but you going to dig Oh, yeah. Some of it, I mean, <laughs> it's oh, uh, not approachable by a lot of people, necessarily. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway. Um, and then, oh, appropriately, for this program, and tonight, Steve, this is before Steve got here, about the uh, West Montgomery favorito tequila, and one of the dopest covers ever. Yeah, that's, a, uh, that's an awesome cover. Not to mention that, but look at there. Ooh, black and silver verve. And it's shaped in that way so it'll fit right up your buddy Hoyle. Because it's yes. the best label ever. Hit me. Uh, is this a gate F? It is. Yeah. Wow, I've never opened that. Did you hear it open? I heard it was like stuck together. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing big time. What's Montgomery never, tequila? But, but look at that uh, cover. Okay. It's a little slower at times. It's kind of like uh, elevator jazz at times. But like West Montgomery could get. It doesn't make it necessarily any worse or anything. Turn down the music. Jay. We're getting feedback. Too loud. Too loud. I can even hear it. Word. Word. Jay, let's take a lap real quick. 
What if we what if we all just took a lap? All together? That way nobody feels singled out or anything. Nobody feels singled. That's really what I'm worried about. Okay. No. All right. Trying. Th this is another time. Record may or may not have ran out. I said, Jay, grab something. You were grab a lot. Jay was grabbing a lot of shit, wasn't he? Jay grabbed a lot of shit tonight. Let's let's write that down. June, what is his first? 1998. You guys liked a bunch of it. He uh, he, uh, he. I just pulled it up. All right. I, I'll be honest. Ain't nothing wrong with That's that. That's not a side we listen to a lot on the show. Even like drunk and like, bro, bro, Jovi. Put that on, and there was a couple of tracks on there. And I'm like, all right, hey, impartially, if you've never heard rock and roll before in your life, you would not hate on the song. No. You would not hate on. I don't it. hate it. No. I think that it's the culture behind things that really turns me off on things. Yeah, they ought to write a hook, and they probably had a. Uh, it's my song. life. Yeah, song right now. The way earlier than that. Come on now. Steve. What are we gonna drink to? The, the tequila record. We missed our opportunity. Now we just got to drink to James Brown because he may be the baddest ass well, let's, let's forever. Let's wait for the next one. Come on. Oh, no, let's, no, let's wait till a couple more. I know what we're gonna drink to. Okay. Yeah. I pulled this out, folks. This is not one you see every day. Oh man. Um. So jelly. Whew. I'm so jelly. This is something I picked up for a couple of bucks. James Brown plays New Breed. Sixty. I can't remember. Jesus. Shit. But it's on Smash Records. <laughs> no, right here. Lime juice on your uh, cover. I'll clean it. I'll clean it. <laughs> Rock and roll, baby. Yeah. All right. James Brown plays New Breed, The Boogaloo. I want to say 62, 63. Uh, uh, probably. So you got the JBs. Yeah. I got uh, the JBs. And you got that. Now, I saw the JBs in a record store recently. So look at this. <laughs> I wish I'd picked it up, but it's kind of pricey. For this what? is not only instrumental. Jane, I don't want you to bring this away too fast. This is not only instrumental. James Brown plays uh, key, keys organ, on this. Organ. Organ. But and it ain't like go, kick go ass. Tight, it ain't, it ain't like Rick Wakeman or nothing. Right. Like go closer from where you are, Jay. I want to get as close on his face. Okay, freeze. I was about right to there. Say, freeze. Yeah. I've been watching on Amazon. Uh, unfortunately, Chips has been on there, and I want to say right in the middle of his face, that looks like Eric Estrada. Yep. Yep. Right in here. Yep. Yep. Those teeth. Yep. Yep. Those eyes. Yep. The cheeks. Yep. Yep. That is Eric yep. Mother Effin Estrada. Yep. And God F it, I love both of them. James Brown and Eric Estrada could come over to my house I have and eat never, dinner any day. Any day of the week, they won't come eat dinner. I've like, never oh, met oh, Eric oh. Estrada. <laughs> <laughs> That's all yeah, I'm I mean, going to say. I've never met Eric Estrada. I had neither. You met, oh, you met James Brown. Yes, I did. And drugs are bad. All right, uh, dig of the week last week. Um, Jay brought over the new sleep record. And tonight we listened to, um, oh my God. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. How mother nice. effing awesome is that? Sausage, eggs. That is just so fried up toast. That is so cool. You got some fruit. Something that looks like you got in the back there. Look, look, look at the, the back. cover. Look at the cover. I don't know, you wouldn't think. The sciences. It's like Spaceman, the sciences. You open it up, it's like... It's doom! And then you open up... What is this here? That's weed. That's weed. Oh, I okay. thought that was like fried okra. Look at that. That's illegal. We can't... No, you can't... Uh, There's fried okra. Oh, don't, drop, don't drop the records outside. Watch out now, hey. Jay! There's fried okra up there in the back near the near the vinegar. That link, the, some of the, a couple of those links, if you put them together, looks like my scout master. <laughs> Bless it. Bless it. If you can't get where I'm coming from, he's a rapist. Oh, sorry. So some people say Boy Scouts of America, and I say singular defendant of uh, public court. All right, so it's an important day. June 1st, a lot of things, like I said earlier, a lot of things happened on June 1st. I got my first pee. In 1966, 
June 1st. The Beatles were in the studio laying down tracks oh. for Yellow Submarine. Oh. In fact, I think it was the day that John Lennon was, God. Blow was blowing bubbles in a bucket and singing Full steam ahead, Mr. Captain! That's uh, weird. That was 66. So in 67 is the day they released uh, Sgt. Pepper. So I decided I need to bring this one, which was the the special deluxe that came out last year. Yeah, the 50th so. anniversary, yeah, yeah. The 51st anniversary of the release of Sgt. Pepper's. And we listened to side four, which is often it takes of the second side of the album. Very cool, very fun, very nice. That's good. That sounded pretty damn sounded amazing. Sounds great, but I'll tell you what sounds better. Yeah? Uh, a friend of ours hooked us up with some files for download. Yeah. Uh, I, I apologize to John. I've not responded back to John. I have. My, I my have. phone has been... Let me tell you, it takes a long time to download these. They're flat, okay. they're flat files. My business has been... It's nearly, F. it's nearly a gig of stuff. Okay, no, I can't do they're that. They're flat files. Okay. And you probably do it on your phone, but just... No, you know. no, no, that's okay. the problem. My phone is baloney right now. I got this, this guy. They sound amazing. No. They sound amazing. And what it is, is... Um, yes. Yeah. It's an LP that never went on sale in regular stores. It was yeah. only available... This is Sgt. Pepper's. Um, it was only available in Australia at a public... A Sydney Hi-Fi and audio show on June, July 3rd, 1983. I feel like you're making that up. There were 497 numbered copies released. And it says audio file 5, I think, on the on the label. Weird. Um, yeah. And it they sound great. I, I, listened, I, was, I, was comp I was listening, going back and forth between what I have on my MP3s and then, like, that was with the flag file. And it's like, there was definitely some... some amazing like very nuances more, well more presence okay everything was more Forward. was there yeah you know cool so i was really glad to hear that <laughs> some butt pants all these uh We're watching midget that? wrestling no, little people oh come on all right vertically challenged we got to start the whole show over where's that button so yeah there's a button 51st for anniversary of uh, sergeant pepper and we got one more, over. one more album to talk about before start we start over are done with this segment um okay <laughs> i wanted what, to talk what about how did we start this show this was a dig of the week last week i ordered it from armageddon shop reflections of a floating world it's that red and whatchamacallit splatter Reflection, uh, or, excuse me. Reflection. Uh, Armageddon Shop is, if you look up like kind of like the official place to buy the record from, it's not like eBay or Discogs, you're going to come up with uh, the Armageddon Shop. Right. And I realize these cats are from uh, Boston, and this is from uh, Providence, Rhode Island, which coincidentally is where the girlfriend is uh, born. And, um, Providence? Yeah. She came from Providence. That's what I call her Rhode Island Red. One in Rhode Island. Here comes Red! I know you guys aren't big Eagles fans, but have you ever heard yeah. that song on Hotel California? No. Put on side two. Okay. Listen to... I forget the name of it, but just put on side, side two of Hotel California. But, to, which, Lucy? We used, to, we used to listen to it going to bed, like, just about every night in college. Going to bed? Not going to bed like that. Side ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. California side two. Ba -boom. Um <laughs> ba -boom. This old Johnny hey Johnny Dangerously. Hey, you're newlyweds. This old lady. She goes, newlyweds. I know what you're doing. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. <laughs> Any big Johnny Dangerously fans out there? Leave me your social in the comments. And uh, this morning, my kids couldn't understand that I was trying to explain to them. You can't say bomb on a plane. Oh, bomb, 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 bomb. So I had to play that that clip from. Was it Meet the Parents? John McCain. You can't say bomb on a plane. John McCain. When he said bomb, 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 No. Yeah. All right. Big up, Jay. Is that your uh, Beatles album over there? Yeah. It's still good. It's good standing. You're going to take it home with you? Yeah. It's still big up to the D104. Those who know. D104. Know, <laughs> they know. Playing the hits of the 90s. I've and had beyond. this D104 since I was 12 years old. Does it work? 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that on radio work? Use it for shortwave? No, it's a, it's a CB microphone. But you can use it as a mic. From Would it make static. a good mic, uh, harmonica mic? Like a crazy, like, <laughs> overdrive? You could do something with it. I bet you could. Because that unscrews. Okay. I could take that head. Let's, let's experiment. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Is that where you work? That's Ryan's. Carl will get it at the Ryan. Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. It's from the 30s or 20s. Yeah. Welcome to the, In the show. Atari alcove. Oh, we we should have done a shot for that. What for I was what? talking about for Sergeant Peppers. Well, that's damn it, Steve. Or that's tequila. not good. Now I have to. Are we can do a shot. Yeah, sure. I'll I'll, I'll drink everything for everybody. Right. Everything, everybody. This is probably my last shot of the night. Oh come on. This right. one's this one's gonna go out to. Um. <laughs> what about I want to do this shot to Balky Bartokamos oh <laughs> hell yeah you've already taken your shot get on it <laughs> but you my a little standing tall my a little smaller on the wings of my dreams <laughs> arising fall he moved to Chicago to start an advertising thing. Hey, it's been, I got some Chicago news for you. You guys like these perfect stranger jokes, or I'm uh, wasting our time? The, the band I was performing with a month or so ago, uh, the Vagabond Saints. Derek Truck. Doing a summer show. The summer show is Chicago. We're doing mm. tribute to Chicago. And I volunteered to sing with them. And I got my assignment. Uh, recently, I'll be doing uh, "Listen" off the first album. Oh yeah, right on. Really soulful. Uh, the dialogue song. I'll be one of the voices on dialogue. There's two. It's like Terry Kath and Peter Cetera trade. Are you optimistic by the way things think that go? Yeah. Never ever think of it at all. So it's trade off, right? I don't know which one I'll be doing yet. And then I said I knew no one else would want to take it, but I was like, I'll do it because it, it's a good song. Alive again off Hot Streets, which is not. My favorite, but... What's that, nine? Where's Hot Streets? Hot Streets is where you stop. No. Terry Kath is dead. They, they finally got their shit together. I might stop back. a little on the left of that. You might want to stop on the left of that. No. But still, yeah. it, it's an important... For me, it's... Not a, there's not a, for me, it came out in 1980, so it, no, it, it, was, it was an important album crazy. for me. Crazy. I listened to it a lot. Anyway, those are the three songs I'll be performing. We're going to do... I think there's three shows. There were supposed to be two shows, and they added another show in Greensboro at Blind Tiger in July and August. Oh, wow. So we're going to do a show in Moxville, and then we're going to do the last concert on the live outside, Summer, oh, so on, Summer on Liberty, Winston-Salem. So it's several shows. Yeah. It's not and just a, August 3rd, we're going to be in Greensboro at Blind Tiger. So, but I've got a gig that night. I'm trying to get it swip swapped right now. I'm in the process of double trying, gig trying to fix that. So I'm pretty excited about it. I got a gig next Saturday, but I probably won't be here next Friday. Oh, just telling you oh, right now. Please. Oh, it takes a lot out of me. I got to save up my energy to pound the pound the mic. P the M, Bo. <laughs> That's what I'll be doing later tonight. Pounding the mic. What? Uh, what? You don't, you don't know what goes on here. What? <laughs> what? Um, think of the week. Let's go That's what we played. That's what we played. Did you hear it? All you want us to repeat anything for you? Um, we can we can rehash anything you want. We're already at almost at an hour. Jesus, Harold. Let's get on with Dig of the Week. I've only got There's a, a couple of cats. I've only got 11. Oh, Jesus. But we're going to finish them tonight. You're this, gonna, you're, you're I don't want to bring these records back anymore. This is this, We're talking the, the, the record. Well, I, when I'm I went not, to the book sale and bought all those records... But I've got one more. I picked up another one in addition to those. This is okay. Special. Look at that. Did that come with a Batman noise? It did. <laughs> no, when I go back to it, it gets weird. It gets weird. It gets weird. Last week we used this to cover Jay's balls, I... but I'm thinking we need to do this this week. My balls are not hanging. Let's see. I got it. Not yet. I got blocking. Um. <laughs> That's the so we're talking block. The <laughs> Over at the um, in Annex building at the uh, LJVM, the Lawrence Joel Veterans Memorial Coliseum, they have a book sale. 
put on by the Shepherd Center, trying to raise money to help down a bit. to give the elderly things to do in their lives. Yeah. And they sell books, and they also have records. If you get over there early in the day one, or hopefully day one, you can get some good records. If not, you're yeah. screwed. I didn't get there on day one. I messed up, and I forgot. I went over there on day you two. You know the first one? I think you, you still got all those? I still got those 31 oh records. God. Somebody obviously wasn't a jazz fan or just didn't. Oh, just Everybody had, must have forgot about thanks, it. Thanks, Jay. I just, had, I just had periods all over about it. So these are the last 10 okay. that I picked up. And some of them, these, you know, always, you know, you don't get your best out in the, first, the last week. But yeah. these, there's still some good stuff in here. We're talking, I love Cha Cha Records. I love, uh, yeah, I love this is Ernesto things. Aquino and his orchestra. Don't have International Award Series, 1960, I believe called cha cha chas and the records are going to fall off the bottom if you're not careful so it's a convertible cover pretty much yeah yeah uh the next one i want to show you is uh a ventures album oh we love the ventures it's man. the ventures christmas album oh whoa that'll be cool man i'm always slack about picking up cool christmas uh, albums. if i can find a cool christmas album i'm all about it so this one i'm thinking it's going to be pretty cool Look at all those Maserites on the front. Check that out. Wow. I love a Maserite guitar. Yeah. Nothing says surf rock yeah, like surf a Maserite. Rock. That's from 1965 on Dolan? Dalton Records, sorry. Uh, we were watching a lot of The Office, and I started thinking about um, Creed, Bratton. Creed Bratton. And I saw this Grassroots album. He's not on here. Oh, yeah. I've got one that he is on. You do? Yeah. But this is a great one of their greatest hits albums. It's called More Golden Grass from 1970 on Dunhill. Uh, it's got a couple of hits. Uh, Dunhill's an ABC thing, right? Yeah, ABC Dunhill. Yeah. I thought maybe that was Creed because it kind of looks like him a little bit, but I don't think it is. I don't think he plays on this album. That's a little later, I think. It is. Yeah. Later. But that's a compilation. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough then. Speaking of compilations, here's one that I was. This is this one of all the records I picked up probably is the noisiest. I don't know if maybe a deep clean is going to help it. That's a shame though. Yeah, this is a compilation of Dwight Yoakam from '83, and it looks like a oh, promo man. copy. Dude. And I picked it up de definitely because it's got Streets of Bakerfield on it. Oh, really? It does. Dude, look right. I know, I know. Grab that right there. You got it right there, buddy. Oh. Now I've got, I've got the original album that Streets of Bakerfield is on. It says Yoakam. Says Yoakum. Yoakum nearly killed him. It's a cameraman 45. His favorite. Is it hit just his version or this version? It's it's. <coughs> oh, with Buck? I don't I don't know. Because cameraman it might be has just this. his version. Which is that's a such a great song, man. Now here's you some jazz. Know me, but you don't here's like some jazz me. records that I think are in good shape, but I was okay. just had so much jazz. Ramsey Lewis Trio again. Whoa. At the Bohemian Caverns in Washington D.C. Is that early? Like Argo. Early enough to be. It's Argo. It's like 1958, maybe. Wow, I've never seen that. What's Let that about? See. Is it good? Have you heard it? Yeah, it's good. It's 1964. Dude, that's cool. Here's a Bill Evans album, talking about piano oh, jazz. Oh yeah, love Bill Evans. This is a really good one. Um, from 1971, it's a compilation. It's a, it's a, of course, it looks like a promo copy or a radio station's a copy. DJ DJ, a DJ copy. Two more jazz records, uh, the Modern Jazz Quartet. These are both from 1958. We're talking No Sun in Venice. It's a film score. And yeah. uh, Jazz Quartet at Music Inn with Sonny Rollins. Oh, cool. Volume two. That's pretty sweet, man. These are both from 1958. Cool. My f this, this has turned out to be my favorite Keith Jarrett album. Really? Because, you know, Keith Jarrett is kind of out there. Clown concert. This one's real fusion, really good. It's Upbeat. A, it's a quadraphonic uh, copy. Really? It's called uh, Backhand it from looks, 1975. I was going to say that looks late as shit for him. Yeah, it's 1975. Really? And it, I, I really like this record. I've got the Cologne concert and I've got, uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, 
That's yeah. Very easy. Solos. Yeah. Very ECM-ish. Like uh, EMI. One more from the book yeah. sale. A funk album. It's it, with with Slave. It sometimes could be borderline disco-ish. Do, funk. Yeah. A lot but of bands. This do is that. good. It's called the Concept. I think it's from 1978 on Cotillion. Oh yeah. And last but not least, uh, the other day I walked into Earshot, checked out his. Um, he's got a, he's got albums that are discounted. He's got he had an RSD section. Everything in the RSD section was record store day. That stuff he couldn't sell was thirty percent off. Oh, that's pretty good. Easy. And I picked up this Hawkwind. Oh, whoa! Record store day this release. This past record store day. Yes. This is um, alternate takes of a lot of the early stuff from the Liberty United Artists years from 70 to 74 and it's a double album wow I don't know this, you get this? Uh, I got it at earshot oh, okay. stupid price it's called Dark Matter 20 bucks double LP you said yeah Parlophone uh, the audio here was previously only found on the triple CD parallel universe and before that never been released and it's stuff that was on other albums but these are alternate takes and just you know and some of it was an alternate takes but yeah first time ever on vinyl uh, yeah I've, ne I've never seen one of five thousand really whatever five thousand heard about that to be honest with you so that's pretty cool yeah I'm, I'm lately i've really been into space rock and psychedelic music yeah i've been checking out a lot of neo psychedelia uh recently and uh, kind of getting into that and some what's well, like king gizzard's all about neo psychedelia i mean yeah uh black angel yep. another band um all them witches all them witches. Well, they're kind of stoner yeah stoner out of tennessee we'll play basically we'll play some if you want, if you want to um but look here's something i forgot to mention this this was the whole point of playing this record and of course i mean jay hand me that elder record if you don't remember uh, earlier, I talked about I ordered this Elder record online from this Armageddon shop. That's apparently the only place that did I mention this? Mm -mm. Only place you can get this like officially is from this place called Armageddon shop. They're from Boston. I know that I know why we got off topic for this. I said Providence, and that's where the girlfriend's from. Okay. And then we went into this whole Providence. thing about yeah, yeah. So, anyway. I, I've been talking shit about this record. It was my album of the Matches year my shirt. last year. It was my number one, and I had a couple of people ask But you me, didn't have it. So you, you got it? And I'm like, no. It's so stupid. I know <laughs> it's stupid. Then I realized, like, it's becoming one of those stonery doom albums where, like, oh, you didn't buy the first couple of pressings? Okay, congratulations. Now any copy is worth 60, 70 bucks. Right. It happens all the freaking time. Whatever. I'm like, dude. One morning, it was a Monday morning. I was hungover. I was sitting at a reporter's house, and I pulled up my computer, and I'm like, oh, buy a record right now. It just kind of like, something in my brain just clicked, and I went, and I was like, I, I went to Discogs, and I went to like the legit, and look, it's coming from, everything official is coming from this place called the Armageddon Shop. It's got a shop in Boston, got a shop in Providence, Rhode Island, and I think it's uh, a, a physical record store, and right. a lot of people say really specialized in metal they got a lot of cool shit like old new whatever um so anyhow a lot of experiences with buying records as i'm mm. sure most of you have um and this one came three four days tops uh packaged really? nicely at the door and uh you got here on friday yeah it came on friday it was in perfect condition exactly what they said it was um it wasn't stupid expensive. It was like twenty five bucks. Um, shipping was it was like twenty one bucks. Mm -hmm. Shipping was like four or five dollars. Mm -hmm. So it took it to like twenty four, twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. Delivered to my door mm -hmm. in perfect shape. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Several days later, mm. a week later, mm. this Thursday, I come back to work, and I'm like, you know, man, when's the last time I've reached out to somebody and be like, yo? That's that's how you do shit. Long time. And I don't think we do that enough. Really. Okay. So I went back to the emails and searched through from where they sent me like, hey, we which package is on the way, blah blah blah. And I I found the Armageddon like at Gmail and I was like, Hey, I just wanna let you guys know I really appreciate the 
really good. The speedy delivery, the customer service, and the kick-ass elder record. Right. Love, peace, and taco grease. Well, that's awesome. Bananas. What they say to you? They just sent me something back. It's like, hey, man, we really appreciate that, and thanks, and hope we, you enjoy the record. Let me tell you this. Why don't we do that enough? Listen to me. <laughs> Why don't we do that as much? The best Long John Silvers is in a little town, Wilkesboro, North Carolina. LDJ's. I ate there, and I was so impressed, because L... J... What? Long John so LJS. Goodbye. LJS... Uh, I said it wrong. ...has a very special place in my heart. My grandfather and me, we used to go to the one in Madison, Indiana, and I just kind of... It is in my blood. Yeah. But the best one I found is in Wilkesboro. When I oh, ate yeah. there, I was so impressed. I was so impressed You're that I found... The owner's email address, and I sent him this email. And I was like, "Look, I just want to let you know, I've been around, I've been to places all over the country, and I really was impressed with your Long John Silvers. It was, the food was amazing. Just ba 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 ba. Didn't hear a fucking thing. About really? It. Yeah. yeah. At, at least these guys were like, hey, man, that's that you, you got the email that I was praising you. I don't want you to have to put it on commercial or whatever. I love to do that with smaller companies because some of them are so good. And I'm just like, damn it. That, that deserves at least a like. Somebody may be having a shit effing day going through the daily grind of just butt baloney. And all of a sudden you get an email. It's like, hey, man, you guys are awesome. Thanks for doing what you're doing. And it's like changes the whole day. Yeah. One little pissy email. I don't know. I so, never do shit like that. Get over and it. all of a sudden, I was just like, I'm going to do something like this. Look at you. And I feel good about it. It made my rib tips. Christian. Christian. It Christian. My, it made my ChristianRibTips.com, which I just bought from GoDaddy. Jay, go log that down. Notebook. Put that in the book. Notebook. Christian.com. No, Christian Rib Tips. Oh, Christian Rib Tips. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can get it right now. Get it right now, that Jay. CC? Before the end of the show. I want, I want to see proof. You want CC, we... org, and edu. Let's, uh... I would love to tell you that I've gotten some stuff loaded in for the commercials that you've you never don't. seen. But we're going to see some shit we've seen the last week. You're so. going to show us that damn tampon one more time. No, no, no. No tampon. But somebody has requested the... the uh, South of the border video. I, I couldn't afford it today, man. I was in the, I was in the 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 the, um, the uh, bear zone, so I apologize. So we'll be back in a minute. Stay tuned. Go urine out your uh, pee hole, and we'll see you in a minute. Gang, look what's new at Dairy Queen. It's our new summer treat pail, complete with hot dog or burger, fries, soft drink, wasa Dairy Queen cone. Great for beach or backyard. Hurry, grab mom and dad and get to Dairy Queen. Supplies are limited. Lake Dolores, the magical water world that features the most exciting high-speed water slides. The family fun place that offers relaxation and incredible thrills just off the I-15 Las Vegas freeway near Barstow. Call now for special rates. Glide down the 200-foot water slides up to 50 miles an hour. Good, clean, safe fun. A thrill a second. Bring the kids, picnic, camp overnight, fly the giant swings at Lake Dolores, the magical water world that guarantees a fun-filled time. banana you can dash and splash on wet banana like billy you can dip and slip like ricky slippery wet fun for the whole gang could that be mom on wet banana it is regular wet banana 25 feet long and the new wet banana super slide 30 feet long each sold separately wet banana super slide comes with 30 foot slide banana sprinkler and fastening hooks from koki
Hey, open, open, the open the mic. Mics. Open the mic. We're back. But, but. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Thanks for staying with us. What was this, late? What is this, Saturday? What is this, tomorrow? What is this? Hello? How is this show going on? Hello? We're 111 right now. Okay. 111. We'll get it in 115. Hut? Set hut. So to speak. You guys so like to soda speak. pop? What's your favorite soda pop? Leave us a uh, comment uh, about your favorite soda pop. I better put these glasses back on about it. According to these folks, it's a new flavor right here. New flavor, We've Steve. We've been blessed with some new sodas that I thought would be dried up by now. Yeah, sodas I thought would. <laughs> wow, dried up. But we're still going. We're still going. We got a Fanta here. Yeah, Fanta. Or this is yeah. my daughter brought me this and wanted me to bring this to the show. Oh, it matches your shirt. She, she had one last week, and I, I thought she had bought it for the show, and she said, "No, I bought that for me." Okay, fair enough. And so she brought me another. Abigail does. She that brought too. me another one today okay. and said, "I know you wanted this." So Abigail does that too. And you had talked about green apple sodas being like an apple soda. Apple soda for sure. Well, here's a green apple Fanta soda. Mondayo, the Mexican soda. Hundred really percent natural it. flavors. Mundial. There's some weird shit in so here. So how you say Spanish? M U N D I L. Contains no juice. No juice. No juice. What you think about that? Why is that all wonky looking now? I don't know, man. Here you go. What do you think about that? It's pretty good. 240 calories per serving. It's got a holy shit. One bottle has got 64. That sounds crazy. I do appreciate them doing this as one bottle. Mm. Serving uh, size. Oh, the serving suggestion is one bottle? One bottle. Really? So 64 grams. You don't give me that like. 240. Only, only 33 oh, grams yeah. of sugar, and there's if like you, three or four servings. 24 milliliters is going to be about that. Yeah, it's like, if all that. Yeah, I want to know what it's like. It tastes like a green apple. It really? I think so. I'm going to call this. You know, I was playing this game on my phone, Wordscapes, where you enter. It's like gives you words, you scramble and spell words. And I kept trying to spell Carl as like a like a noun. As a verb? Carl. And it was like, it wouldn't accept Carl. Uh, how about as a verb? Like Carl. It should be a verb. It should be a verb. I'm going to call this. It's heavy. Heavy? It's a, little, it's, a, it's a little heavy on sugar. That's my only gripe. It does have a, a lot of tartness. And I think the only thing that offsets the amount of tartness for that is the amount of sugar. They nailed the flavor. I think that they, did, they did nail the flavor. I think the sugar and the tartness are like 9,000. So you think pull back the sugar a little bit? Pull back both of them if you're going to pull them. I think the if ratio, you're pull them. I think the ratio is accurate. But you don't have to be so over the top about both of them. Bring them both, but together. They're trying to hit the kids. Hit, the, hit this is about 70%. It's for, the, it's for the kids. It is. Hit this about 70%. Okay. But it's a good they're, they're soda. They're afraid the kids won't buy it. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a great soda. I love it. But I could tell it's one of those sodas. By the time I get to about right there, I'm going to be like, oh. Because mm. I'm an older gentleman. Mm-hmm. And I think those, that green apple, you know what would be really good? Mm. This is just inappropriate. What? Salt? Are you putting it inside? What yeah. are you doing? Right on the rim there. Oh, a salty, like a caramel apple? No, like a salt. You don't pick a green apple and put I salt on it? I don't put salt on my fruit, no. Watermelon, apple. It's a southern thing. That's why you got all that high blood pressure, dude. Try heart that. disease. I've never heard of it on apples. I've heard of spread, like spread a little moral there. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Cuts the sweetness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Salt plus that, one of the better sodas I've had in a while. Okay. <laughs> that spicy one you brought? Yeah. And this one with salt. Okay. That makes me happy. That's okay. good. By itself, good, but like a little overpowering over the top. Yeah. Throw a little salt around the rim. Holy baloney. Good luck doing that, by the way. Yeah, I know. That's, that's a, as Cookie Monster would say, that's a sometimes treat. You do this every day, you're going to die when you're 25. But right. so you do it every now and then. Nothing wrong with that. Let's go to Chip Chat. What we got? There's oh, some chips out there right now. Do, there are some chips out there right now. I picked up a uh, late July snack. Now, late July, you see these? Uh, we've done some late Julys. We have, and you see them in convenience stores well, a lot? The first time we did late July, I, the first time we did late July, I got them at the um, Salvation Army Rescue store. Oh, that's right. I've bought things. Uh, but since then, I see them overpriced in most, like, Grocery stores. It's one of these where you gotta tear the bag down the side. Oh shit. Boston uh, Swan Boat. Dude, thanks for joining us live. You stumbled on to the uh, one of the greatest things in the history of the mankind. I'm just kidding. We're assholes that like to so, list, uh, listen to some, records. Some taco truck fanatic. We review potato chips and sodas. This is. The tortilla chip buffalo queso. I like buffalo. I like queso. Uh, yeah, that's an interesting combination. Put we also just reviewed a band from your area called Elder. We we want you to be our friend. We want you to be our friend. World's best band. WBB. This is lacto vegetarian and kosher, by the way. Okay, I like that. Do you? Let Jay give it a shot first. Is the music loud? I think it's like... Same level. Yeah. I think Jay's at the same level. I don't know why this is all being all zoomy. Is it Zoomy Zoomerson? The old comedian from the 80s? You made that up, Jay. Buffalo Queso. I would assume that would be, uh, it tastes could like be a, overpowering. No. These are wider looking. It tastes like a regular Dorito. A little brighter, a little spicier, a little cornier. Hmm. So good. Yeah. A good, like, rustic corn flavor. Mm hmm. With a bright, citrusy, something or other going on. A little bit of lime. Then some, then some heat on the back end of that. Buffalo kind of escapes me on that. You could convince me that that smoke and that burn is from buffalo. Yeah. But you could also say that's from like some Texas peat or Tabasco. I would believe that as well. It doesn't over buffalo me. It's my point. Is the huh? Texas peat is buffalo. No. No. No, Texas peat is closer to McElhaney's. This is a good chip. No, they do make a, a buffalo sauce. Texas peat does. Hmm. I really enjoy those. Yeah. Good chip. Got a little something different um, working on there. I like sure. that back heat. Yeah. See yeah, how everything's like moved down? I don't understand what that is. I don't know. Oh, I'm on a, I'm on a hand gentleman for some reason. Hand gentleman? Yeah, the hand gentleman moves people. See that? You know, like Adobe stuff where you got the hand or the YouTube and the hand moves around and you can grab it. it. Don't knock it over. Move it. Don't knock it over. Move it. You move it all around. All of a sudden, this program, when you're using OBS, is all, it's only the hand. So now everything I click on, there's a hand. I got a hand over here. I got a hand over there. You guys like hands? I'm going to spend some one offs. So you going to spend some one offs? Yeah, we got some records coming, so stay tuned with us on, especially on the Twitch channel. YouTube will discontinue, and this will just be the program that will go to YouTube. But on the Twitch channel, uh, we we spin the records every Friday night, spin them. and then they spin go away, and we do the program there, and then we uh, we'll come back to Twitch here just momentarily and play spin. some music. 
So y'all hang out with us and listen to some records. We appreciate the shit out of you for joining us on Grown Man Record Night. Hey, if you don't know about the YouTube, if you're over on Twitch checking us out, man, seriously, uh, go hit us up on the uh, YouTube. If I can find the damn graphic, because uh, I have a substance abuse problem. Go over there and like us, subscribe to us, and uh, we appreciate the F out of you guys. Go do that. So every Friday night, we do the uh, live program. Uh, starting at 8.30, we broadcast music, and then uh, after a while, probably about 11.30 or so, Bomb. we do a live talk show. And we stop down in between, so don't get your panties in a B. Uh, come do something about it. We love you guys, man. We love you guys. And I mean, I don't want to like get into a whole thing, but but like that didn't work. I went to black. Uh, I've already tried this. Timing, timing. Got to work on your timing. I know. I've already tried this. Hey, what are you trying to do? I don't know. Thanks, George Grown Man Record Night. We'll come back right back up on the Twitch channel. We appreciate you, and we'll see you next time on the program. Bye. Amen.